Okay, Scorpio. I'm definitely going to have to try to add some sort of something. Um, it's going to rain. So, I'm going to try to see if I can brighten this up for y'all. Um, if I can't, then I'm sorry. It looks so motherfucking dark. And if I can, then just describe what I just said. Because you're not even going to know what I'm talking about. Because you're not going to be able to tell. Um, <laughs> uh, welcome. My name is B. Sorry. My brain a little everywhere today. Um, Venus Day is usually busy for me. Um, welcome back. You know, my name is B. Um, if you're accustomed to being here, then of course you know how this goes. If you're not accustomed to being here, welcome, right? We do love messages on Fridays here on this channel, um, thanks to Venus Day. And um, luckily, you guys won the Rep Your Sign poll. I did wake up um, and I felt intuitively guided to do another one. Y'all was fighting with Aquarius yesterday, but Aquarius ended up pulling through in the end, okay? Um, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, y'all y'all won the battle, but Aquarius won the war, okay? Um, so here we are again, and y'all ended up winning this morning um, against, I think it was Aries, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Um, so, you know, we're here for your love messages. Um, we're going to do this the way we did Aquarius. Uh, if you have Aquarius in your chart... Or if you have Scorpio in your chart, right, make sure you go back and watch the Aquarius message um, that was posted yesterday. There might be some insight in there for you. I'm going to do this the way I did Aquarius is, all right? So before we go ahead and jump in to get started, um, like, uh, subscribe, share this with a friend. Um, everything you need below is in the description box. If you don't have me on Twitter or my other platforms, it is advised that you do so. Um, a lot of the content that you see on Twitter, I mean, a lot of the content that you see on YouTube, a lot of the time uh, starts, the conversation of it starts on Twitter, right? So if you have no idea and you new here and you like, ooh, girl, rip, rip your sign, what is that about? It's a poll that we do every so often, that I do every so often. I started on Twitter. The winner of a certain a number of polls will get put in a final poll the winner of the final poll will get the youtube content and what that content is will really just depend on whatever the fuck i want it to be right so if you want to get in on the hear about and on the um the the fun and the activities then this is a great time oh, this is a great time to go ahead and jump in on that make sure you check below in the description box to follow me on my platforms um and if you are interested in booking a reading, a love reading, if anything I said during this time resonates with you, you can book a reading. I do have Venus Day sales that are, I am running as well today over on Twitter. Okay, if you catch this in time, maybe you can catch one. And if not, make sure you still follow me on Twitter because we do Venus Day sales every Friday. Okay. Did I mention my name was B? Welcome. Anyways, um, for those of you who know how this go and you hear because bitch let's get with the shit okay <laughs> uh because y'all was waiting on me at the door yesterday okay so let's go ahead and get into it the channel song that i have for y'all uh because i told you i'm gonna do this the way that i did let me put my phone on do not disturb because anyway um where was i going that's why i said let me put my phone on do not disturb because she my texts and, and all the traction and shit throw me off um channel song right we're gonna do this the way i did aquarius aquarius got a channel song i kind of walked them through that and then we pulled some tarot cards and then we did channel messages from your person okay the channel song that you guys have was let's get married by party next door if you have never heard that song before pause this and go listen to it really quick okay pull it up on your phone pull it up on your spotify your apple music or whatever youtube whatever and um listen to it really quick the second song that I got from you guys was Never Knew Love Before by Bobby Caldwell. And the third song was Happy by Ashanti, right? The last two songs was really just for me to get an energetic feel. Um, the first song is the song that I take, right? Um, so the song that you guys got was Let's Get Married. A, a line that stuck out to me was, um, damn, I had it too. Let me go back. It was something along the lines of like, I'm feeling crazy enough to do something, you know what I'm saying, like spontaneous, where was I, where was it, you working seven days a week, yeah, when it's temper, okay, make it, let's make it last forever when it's temporary, yeah, okay, that was the main thing I heard, okay, all I need is a woman who will agree with everything that I do, right? And get naked for me 
when I want her to. All I need is, you know, a woman who, okay, so all I need is a woman who can do what the fuck I told her to do and get naked when I told her to get naked, okay? So that's the first thing I'm picking up. Then it said, make it feel like forever when it's temporary, let's get married just for this moment, right? Um, make it feel like forever even though it's temporary, right? Um, just for this moment, I might get drunk enough and get crazy enough to say something just as crazy as, let's get married. Okay. Still, I need me a freak. I'm coming straight out of Montego Bay. You working seven days a week. I know how you feel because I feel the same. I know sometimes you feel out of control, but baby, I know that this moment deserves a moment just because this moment deserves a moment. Let's get married, right? So the main energy I'm kind of picking up off that is that, you know, first of all, the the warning I heard intuitively was please don't rush into anything, okay? Don't allow anybody to rush you into anything, okay? Because what you don't want to do is find yourself trying to make forever uh, trying to make a temporary moment feel like forever, right? Um, even though I know sometimes it's what we like, right? You know how when you in the moment like your favorite concert, right? And it's like, well, damn, I wish this. I know that this can't last forever, but I wish I could just live in this moment forever, right? Um, so I am picking up some regretful energy here, where it's like, please don't rush into anything, right? You might like somebody as Scorpio. Y'all know y'all can feel really intense, okay? This is for Sun, Moon, and Venus. No, I don't pull by the rising sign. I don't care if your favorite reader pulls by the rising sign. I pull love messages from the Venus sign, right? So this is for Scorpio, Venus, Moon, and Sun placements. And I know Scorpio suns can be pretty intense, but that Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Venus can get very intense, okay? So don't try to make forever out of something that was ever only meant to be five minutes right someone could be trying to do this to you right that's why i said i might get drunk enough and get crazy enough to say something okay i might get i might get drunk enough and crazy enough to, to really do something you know what i'm saying i saw 717 on my time so some of you could be dealing with twin flame energy this could be a twin flame thing um where it's like your person might get drunk and end up calling you and it's like well i want let let's let's run off and get married right don't do it scorpio okay if this is you scorpio or if you're cross watching for a scorpio don't let them do that to you uh-uh you know what i'm saying because again i what i don't like about that energy right what i don't like about this song is that like he said let's make it feel like forever when it's temporary right now if we're gonna make it feel like forever it needs to be forever and that's just that right that's just that on that if we're gonna make this feel like forever then it needs to be forever or if this is temporary let's keep it temporary you know what i'm saying let's keep it temporary um that's way it won't get confusing right what good is it to go run off to vegas and go get married tomorrow just to have to have divorce papers three days after we get back from vegas what point is that right but this is someone who i might uh be bottling up a lot of emotion intuitively i am picking it up too this is someone who again might drink to cover up their emotions right might kind of do substance to cover up their emotions and it's like one thing might lead to another because they have so many intense emotions for you right um you scorpio or cross watcher you're gonna have to be the one to can, who can put your foot down and say uh-uh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. you know what i'm saying ain't no if we run off and get married then what we doing hello let's talk about the long term i don't want to make this feel like forever even though it's temporary what's the long term if we want this to feel like forever then let's make it forever right but how can we do that how do we do that without allowing it to still just be temporary right i don't want to just live in the moment right and this made me feel like this is someone who uh just kind of wants to live in the moment with you right this is someone who just wants to live in the moment with you yeah nothing can come between us by Sade is playing right now so yeah this is someone who I feel like uh definitely feels like that right where it's like nothing can come between us anyway but I feel like I'm, I'm picking up energy of bottled emotions right intense bottled emotions Scorpio Sun Moon and Venus so let's go ahead and move in okay y'all love is soft and tender hey hold on I think she said what we have is soft and tender yeah i always hope that you remember 
never really learn the meaning of it all what we have is soft and tender so hold on in the middle of the madness when the time is running out and I'm left all alone all I want for you to know that this storm still can't pull us apart nothing can come between us so somebody might have some um, drunk emotions to come share with y'all, Scorpio. Or this is you or somebody. Figure out where you go. Give me some information on Scorpio. What we got for Scorpio in love? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Allow these messages to be clear. Allow these messages to be unbiased. Allow these messages to resonate and play as a confirmation for those who need them the most. And allow this video to find and cross paths with those who need these messages the most. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Venus. I just want to let, you know what I'm saying, all I, she said, all I want for you to know that this storm can't pull us apart, right? I'm still trying to figure out the meaning of it all, but what we have is so soft and so tender, please hold on. I know we're going through this storm right now, but this storm can't pull us apart. I just need you to keep holding on. Nothing is pulling us apart. This storm ain't pulling us apart. It's about faith. It's about love. It's about trust. middle of the madness hold on in the middle of the madness so Scorpio y'all might be going through something with somebody yeah you could be dealing with a masculine Scorpio masculine energy especially if you are cross watching you could have just turned your back on them right now yeah there is always this and this is everlasting there is always this and this is everlasting it's about faith. It's about trust. It's about love. Nothing can come between us. So we have the five of pentacles. We have the three of swords. Eight of pentacles. Ace of swords. Listen, spirit be jamming for y'all, cause Aquarius spirit was jamming for Aquarius yesterday, bitch. And they was fucking throwing down yesterday for Aquarius, and I feel like it's the same thing for y'all. Seven of Wands is here. Seven of Swords. King of Cups. So again, you could be cross watching for a Scorpio, or you could just be in your masculine energy as a Scorpio. Four of Pentacles is here. In the full car. What is that? Nothing can come, can tear, can pull us apart. Yeah, no, yeah. No, so this is someone who isn't done with you. Um, based off of what I'm getting so far already, Aquarius. Um, y'all left somebody in the cold and they are very upset about that shit, okay? Um, or either they left you and you upset about it. Figure out where you go. That's why I said I feel like this is bottled emotions. When I heard uh, I might get drunk enough and get crazy enough to say something. So this is definitely a masculine energy. Um, with all of this water, King of Cups is also like a drinker, right? Um, it's water up here, it's water in the back. He got his finger right here. Like this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because cause give me another one, bartender. You know what I'm saying? Look how his finger on his rim. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you know how motherfucker kind of just go over the rim of their cup with their finger? Like, that's what this is kind of giving me. Like, yeah, give me, hit me with another one, bartender. So this is definitely somebody who might get drunk enough to actually give a little liquid courage. Um, or again, Scorpio, this might be you. But I feel like you left somebody in the cold. Whoever got left out in the cold is the one who's drinking. And they are the one who might actually be coming to actually say something to you, all right? Scorpio, if you're the one who walked away, you definitely walked away and you turned your back on them, all right? Um, this feels like peace, really, right? This feels like because y'all have been out here trying to get peace, you've been trying to, you know, just kind of zen out. You, a whole lot of extra bullshit, shit that really don't even um, need to be around, right? Um, and just not really having time for it. Um, this could maybe be something you didn't even want to do, Scorpio, where it's just like, I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to dip out anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave. Um, I just don't have time for this, right? Um, the Scorpio or the person that left, got left, right? That energy could have definitely been sneaky or could have just been someone who like, yeah, because I, like I said, I heard bottle emotions, right? 
because why else why else would you get drunk enough to get crazy enough to say something as crazy as let's get married you can say that sober right but it's the drinking it's the wanting to say that sober right but liquid courage that's why i was like i might get drunk enough to say something crazy enough right it's not that you don't want to say it it's that you're just not crazy enough to say it sober you're not crazy enough to uh you know reveal your true heart self sober you're not crazy enough or uh courageous enough right because sometimes it's not even just crazy right um sometimes it just takes faith and courageousness that aries energy right so you might be an aries or might be dealing with someone who has aries in their chart um you might be an aries or you might be dealing with a scorpio person who has aries in their chart um but it's like it's not really so much as that you scared to say it or that it's just crazy to say it's just that you just like need that confidence or that liquid courage yeah right to be able to free fall and say you know what i'm gonna just close my eyes you see how both of their eyes close so it's like i'm gonna just close my eyes and i'm gonna just i'm gonna just free fall i'm gonna just say it you know what i'm saying regardless of what person watching might say you know what i'm saying this is someone who might need that liquid courage to do it um but you might have left them before they really got to the liquid courage to be able to do it <laughs> and that could be um why right now they're like okay well listen i might get crazy enough to be able to, to to pick up the phone and say it right um to be able to actually come say something to you um again for those of you who walked away you could definitely be spiritualist or intuitive um bottom of the deck was a high priestess we do have the eight of pentacles here which is like my spiritual root work card you see she got her candles and her books and the moon phases and shit so um for some of you you could be intuitively inclined others of you you could have maybe just moved on and it's like well i'm learning and self-educating myself on other stuff right i've moved on i'm tired of being disappointed i'm tired of waiting i'm tired of being drained um by this person or disappointed by this person i'm tired of feeling left out in the cold by this person in whatever shape form fashion that looked like for you so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna dip i'm, I'm ready to go right i'm gonna leave um and i feel like you've been self-educating yourself you've been growing as well in your spirituality um you've been growing more just in your chakras right learning how to meditate for some of you um learning how to stay in alignment with your chakras for some of you others of you if you already know that i feel like you're going one step further into like learning candle magic and um learning how to really align with the moon phases right um getting more into herbs and things like that um so i do feel like this is something along those lines where it's like you left somebody in the cold scorpio and you've been doing your your big one bitch you be doing your big one you've been focused on you you're self-educating you getting the clarity that you needed you thinking clearly you know what i'm saying you uh, yeah i heard peace you want peace in your life right now and that's why i said that you know what i'm saying you're confident you want more confidence you want more peace around you um you're just really focused on that you know what i'm saying turning your back on people that isn't bringing you that peace anybody who down here with a wand down here trying to knock you off your a game you didn't turn your back to them fuck them right and in all the gems that you learn and all the shit that you keep near and dear to you you keeping it near and dear to you a lot of you are also being very secretive right now about what you're learning a lot of you are learning some new shit some new gems right especially if this is spiritual especially if this is how to meditate if this is candle magic if this is root work if this is um meditation right you're learning these things and you're keeping them really near and dear to yourself you're not really sharing them with a lot of people and that's good that's not bad at all right um bonnet and clyde with jay-z um is playing right now okay so yeah this is someone that that felt like you'd always be bonnet and clyde right that's why uh nothing can come between us came on <laughs> you know what i mean because even though you left somebody still feels like you're mine you know what i'm saying you're not going nowhere especially if this is a uh, scorpio masculine right if this is um especially if this is a masculine right if this is a um masculine energy then this is definitely somebody who feels like you know listen you don't we bought in the cloud you know what i'm saying like he said down the ride to the very end this is me and my girlfriend right and she do anything necessary for me right and i do anything necessary for her um so i do feel like this is someone who feels like you know what i'm saying um you're not going anywhere yeah you dudes be treating the girls that you fucking with the same respect that you treat the one that you hugging so someone feel like they <laughs> um somebody feel like they play a i'm gonna pause that um somebody feel like they real player 
and they they feel like they know what to do they just haven't done it though i'm gonna of course we're gonna clarify y'all know that but um i'm picking it up too that's why i said because even with nothing tears us apart it's like someone believes that y'all not going nowhere you know what i'm saying like even if you stop fucking with them and it's like fuck it i'm gonna turn my back someone still feels like where you going you know what i mean where you where move on to who from me <laughs> you know what i'm saying especially if this is you scorpio this might be you where it's like listen my person ain't going nowhere how you gonna how you gonna quit me you can't quit me um what was that movie oh shit what's her name from from friday was it friday next friday she was pregnant what's baby name baby d's sister <laughs> and she was like you can't quit me nigga i'm pregnant with your baby <laughs> like that's the kind of energy it's giving right regardless of if you have a baby or not that's kind of what it's giving me where it's like you can't quit me nigga like you're not gonna quit me i ain't girl guy non-gender by it don't even matter you where are you going you gonna quit who you gonna quit me you me says scorpio you can't quit me child ain't nobody you not done with, yeah i just heard that too correct and i watched carisha um carisha please yesterday her her little podcast and she was like um we not done until i said we done that's the energy that this is giving me we not done until i say we done right and that's also why i felt like maybe in the beginning where it was like don't try to make nothing try to feel like forever though it's temporary right that's why i was like make sure you don't let nobody rush you into nothing scorpio and if you cross watching for a scorpio make sure you don't let the scorpio rush you into doing anything because if this is temporary then let it be temporary i don't want it to feel like forever even though it's temporary because if i if it feel like forever i want it to be forever let it be forever forever ever forever ever forever that's how we need to be coming right but this is someone who not only feels like you're not gonna go anywhere but again this feel like we in this forever you know what i'm saying like we gonna always be in this forever even if we not in this forever so let's make it feel like forever <laughs> even though it's not forever yeah eight of cups unfinished business unfinished business i wasn't even shuffling for a car specifically but unfinished business so yeah even if you walked away this is someone who feels like child you're gonna come back you know what I'm saying? Now, Scorpio cross watcher, you might be watching this and you might be kiki and ha ha because jokes on them, right? I'm not coming back. But see, that's why, that's why I, I was like, watch for that. I didn't like the energy from the song, and I don't like how I feel right now because it's not really giving me sincere energy, right? is giving me almost an arrogance or like a ego you know what i mean like girl ch they always come back running back to me they not going nowhere you know what i mean and it's like no i'm i'm really going this time you know what i'm saying like this isn't unfinished business five of pentacles this is something i'm leaving out to dry put a fork in it it's done right this is someone who feels like not only are you not going to go anywhere but that let's get married that's why i said it feels weird it feels fast it feels like bottled emotions and it feels a little odd right now if you want to run off and get married then let's do that right but this is giving me i'm gonna get drunk and i'm gonna rush in with let's get married so i can get you back in my good graces that's kind of what this is giving me okay take that for how it resonate if you are that person then maybe this is your energy and you need to be checking yourself before you wreck yourself okay before you really make things worse what was this with it um the world card with the page of swords flipped over i want to clarify a couple of cards now before we move into the into the nitty-gritty give me this seven of swords off of the scorpio energy that's why I said I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Because make sure that this is forever. You know what I'm saying? I don't, don't let it be temporary. But then you like, I know this is temporary, but let's run. Out. You know what I'm saying? I know we only got three days to be together. And after three days, we can't be together no more. But let's run off and get married anyway. W what the fuck we wasting time for? We wasting a whole lot of time if this is if this is going to be temporary. Right? Let this be temporary if it's going to be temporary. And if you want this to be forever, then let's let it be forever. Right? This feel like somebody who's just trying to come disrupt your peace <laughs> on some toxic shit. 
where it's like I don't want you to move on and I don't want you to move on from me or arrogantly feeling like you're not going to move on from me, right? So I'm going to come in with a whole bunch of drunk, sweet nothings, right? I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to tell you, oh, let's run and get married, da 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 For some people, this is genuinely bottled up emotion and that's really how they feel, right? But by the time they sober up, they back like this, right? Some people can do that. Some some of these people I am picking up where it's like, no, that's really how they feel. They really are going to call you when they're drunk. They're really going to ask you to run off and let's get married, right? Let's run off. Let's do this. I want to get married with you. I think about you all the time. I don't want you to go nowhere. You know, girl, because cause, cause don't you know can't nothing come between us? Don't you know I ain't going to never let you go? Don't you know you can't quit me? Don't you know I can't quit you? But then by the time, by the time the sun come back up, look, by the time the sun get to come back up, it's it's a wrap all over again. By the time the by the time the moon actually come up and that sober shit kick off, they back guarding themselves again. They back on they back on bullshit, right? They get real drunk. It's a whole bunch of hoopla hollers, and then when they sober back up, they back on bullshit. And I and I think that's so funny because I know somebody that who fits this bill. <laughs> um, they're not my person, but they are a. Um, Scorpio Venus and baby when they get drunk oh they texting me they calling me they want to FaceTime let me come see you I'm finna come get you come stay the night with me cuz tell me tell me you'll never hurt me it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of emotion it's a whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of it's a whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of right and then as soon as they sober up again in the morning come it's like it's like we never had that talk it's like they never sat there and told me like Cause I really do want to be with you and I would be with you, but I'm just scared that you hurt me and I would hate to have to hurt you because you hurt me. And Scorpio, y'all know y'all can get like that. <laughs> y'all know y'all can get like that. Y'all do not play about y'all emotions, okay? Especially Scorpio Venus uh, and Scorpio Moons. Now, I can't too much testify for Scorpio Suns. I know it's in there a little bit, but I have had more run-ins with Scorpio Moons and Scorpio Venuses and they do not play about their emotions, period. Once they like you, they locked in, period. I will kill you if you hurt me. So let's not even play around, right? Because listen, you 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 think I'm playing, right? Says Scorpio. You think I'm playing. You think I won't actually hurt you and smile in my mugshot behind my motherfucking emotions. I will. So let's not even get involved in this, right? Let's not even do this because I would hate to have to go to jail behind you thinking you can play with my emotions and play with me and hurt me and then I got to hurt you. So let's not even do this, right? <laughs> So I definitely can see that where it's like by morning, it's some whole other shit. By tonight, if they drunk, y'all, yeah, y'all will run off, get married, have a family, start a family, move to a new city, bitch. But by the time that drunk wear off, they back at square one. It's like they, it's like they never even asked you to run off and get married with them right so making sure that you actually allow them to keep that same energy make sure they keeping that same energy in the morning too whether you a scorpio a cross watcher whether this is you or watching for somebody else and this is somebody else's energy make sure they keep the same energy with you okay don't let them come in and then give you a bunch of sweet nothings and then by morning it's something different right because that's also why i never really take that person serious right because i know as soon as you get drunk you gonna have a whole lot of oh cause you know cause, yeah, cause I never hurt you and da, 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 right and then in the morning it's gonna be back at square one oh cause you know we cool it's cool we cool you know I don't I don't I don't I don't know where these emotions is coming from bullshit 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 don't let them lie to you Scorpio okay give me the seven of swords energy what is the seven of swords energy yeah ego ego pride there's that king of wands so could be a fire sign i am picking up water sign energy i'm picking up fire sign energy i see aries here as well okay um ego and pride that king of wands gives me ego and pride so that's why i said by the time the sun come back up that ego gonna be back in the way the ego gets back in the way the ego gets back in the way they're not gonna they're not gonna let you see them sweat right they're not gonna let you know that they feel all this for you right they they they'll keep it yeah you see how she keep it close to her chest that why i said y'all 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 keeping something as a secret close to your chest there's something somebody's keeping close to their chest because they value it right and this could be emotions where it's like listen i value my heart and my emotions okay i'm not about to be be here i'm not so i'm gonna just keep what i feel close to home right i know i can't get hurt if i keep my shit close to home right i know i ain't got nothing to worry about if i keep everything close to home 
clarify this King of Cups for me. Clarify this King of Cups for me. What you wouldn't do for love, what you won't do for love by Bobby Caldwell. What you won't do for love, you tried everything, but you won't give up. <laughs> King of Cups. You tried everything, but you won't give up. Yeah. So there is a King of Cups who, who wants harmony with you. That's for sure. Um, they just want to be on the same page, right? Um, so I am picking that up very heavy, especially if it's a masculine energy. Um, you probably used to live with this person or lived with this person. They drink a lot at home, or this could be someone who drinks a lot at home. Or has a lot of like housewarming parties. I'm picking it up too. They want to get back in harmony with you. They want to be back cool, right? So you guys definitely could be going through a separation right now, Scorpio. Whether you separated from them or they separated from you. Um, somebody turned their back on somebody, right? And somebody is keeping their emotions very close to themselves. Um, can we get kinky tonight? <laughs> yeah, by uh, Missy Elliott, SWV. Um, so yeah, you know, they think about you a lot. They think about you sexually a lot too, right? Um yeah can we get kinky tonight i got some freaky things on my mind i never seen a guy so fine i like it when you do me <laughs> right so you guys might have a lot of uh sexual energy a lot of uh sexual fun together right um so this is someone who also might just be moving out of sex right where it's just like let's run off and get married it's temporary let's make forever let's make something temporary feel like forever let's make it feel like forever even when it's temporary right and there's that king of wands energy right so someone who doesn't show you the emotion but they can come with dick in their hand right that's what this is giving me to clarify right you see how they got their they face covered up so this is someone who wears a mask with you emotionally right they keep their emotions to themselves but they will show up with dick they will they will show up with dick okay um so make sure you watch that too this is someone who can get kinky with you but they can't exactly give you the emotions that you need right now yeah so it kind of feels like a one up energy it almost feels like you might even okay um some of you if you fall for this you're going to feel one upped okay and when i say that let me explain what i mean they're gonna call you drunk right i miss you and i want to run off and get married and no money la, la, la. i see you with family and i just do what you do you do little bit of that words right you're gonna fall for it you're gonna let this person come over they're gonna sleep with you and by the morning again like i said they gonna act like they don't even know what the fuck you talking about oh because you called me and you said that you loved me so much and that you really wanted to be with me and that you were sorry and you apologized for all the this is somebody who gonna look at you and be like i don't remember any of that I don't remember how I got over here. Last I remember, I was at uh, Club Crunk with 1942 in my hand. And I woke up in your bed. Like, that's... I don't remember what you talk about, right? The gag is they know exactly what you're talking about. They remember that night. But they're not going to tell you, right? They're not going to tell you. They're not going to um, express it to you and give you, bring you some clarity on some, well, yeah, I said that last night, and I apologize, I got too drunk, but in my drunkness, right, this is my feelings, and I meant everything that I said, but see, that's everything I'm too scared to tell you sober, right? This is someone who's going to try to gaslight you, like, child, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, what? I called you and said, what? Let's get married. I don't even believe in marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is this is that type of situation, and you're gonna feel slighted, right? You're gonna feel like, damn, like a motherfucker just played me. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, the motherfucker really just came over here for some sex. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that they came over for sex, but they're just keeping their emotions and their heart very close to themselves right now. Um, they don't really know how to take a leap of faith, or they're not exactly trying to take this leap of faith. Give me the school card because I could be wrong yeah so this is someone who ha would have to take a leap of faith on actually doing that starting that right the world car so again it's not that they don't want a family with you when they call you and tell you let's run off and get married it's not that they don't believe in marriage they do right they just want to keep their emotions to themselves they just want to keep their feelings to themselves right and i think that's funny too y'all know i love to make this a little interpersonal right <laughs> so even with the person that i know like 
they do that to me where it's like on a sober day it's like i don't want a wife i don't want kids i've never wanted kids i never wanted a wife i've never wanted that responsibility i've never right but then when you get drunk and you calling me it's like oh well tell me that if we ever were to be together that you never hurt me tell me promise me swear to me that you never hurt me swear to me that you never hurt me the way that i hurt you because i would never hurt you but i just really feel like you would hurt me you know what i mean and it's like well where's all of that energy mr I'm, i never wanted a wife right where is all of that energy if you really never wanted a wife then why are you calling me drunk begging me demanding <laughs> that i reaffirm you that i would never hurt you and i would never disappoint you and i'd never play in your face and i'd never break your heart right because you deep down you really want a family but what you want more than a family is to keep your own yeah i heard safeguard your own emotions yeah to keep your own emotions safeguarded to keep them protected so that way you won't have to go through this disappointment right being more willing to walk away right even though there's still energy there so even if you walked away from somebody y'all still have passion and desire look at that fire down there right with this fire sign energy here so y'all still got passion and lust and excitement for each other but there's a cycle that somebody would need to break whether it be you scorpio or somebody you dealing with right so take that shit for high resonate scorpio if this is you and you out here lying like oh because i i never wanted a husband to begin with bullshit you want a husband a happy home and a family bitch stop lying you're lying to yourself right you're lying to yourself and you're trying to replace that with pride and ego to save face okay if you're cross watching for a scorpio you're gonna feel slighted that's why i said make sure make sure that this is not just temporary and y'all trying to make it feel like forever uh -uh. if this is gonna be forever if we're gonna make it feel like forever then god damn it let's make it be forever and if you don't want to make it feel like forever if this isn't going to be forever then let's not try to make it seem like we got forever in this because we don't because inevitably somebody's gonna have to walk away and that's inevitable right so figure out where you go making sure that they don't make sure you don't allow them to come back and emotionally manipulate you sexually manipulate you to do something they're gonna have to take a risk to really get their ass off their shoulders and to be able to take a leap of faith in this to really have you the way that they want to right this is somebody who don't really want to take that leap of faith but then they still want to you know what i'm saying like they don't they don't want to make it forever right but they want to make the temporary feel like forever because they don't want to make it forever i hope this is making sense to y'all scorpio don't do that don't take that energy don't do it right even for myself i find myself with that person doing it too and i oftentimes have to remind them like listen whoa you know that this isn't forever right we can't stay here forever right because i me i want a family i want a house i want a husband right i'm not trying to just be in no temporary situation forever right uh, -uh. i want forever flat out period and i'm putting in the work right and i'm willing to leave this person out in the cold and hurt them if it means that i go get what it is that i want right that's just me scorpio take that for higher resonate okay um yeah could have some capricorn in the chart um, could be a Capricorn with Scorpio could have some Scorpio as a Capricorn you could be a Capricorn cross watching for a Scorpio you could be a Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn take this shit for how it resonates child like I said um yeah but somebody is emotionally childish right it's this is the end yeah I heard that I was like I'll, I, I literally just heard I'll come clean with my emotions when pigs start flying right but again temporary because whether you the scorpio saying it or somebody else somebody's not waiting forever on this right somebody not trying to make temporary feel like forever right but someone else is <laughs> so figure out where you go but it's out of negativity it's out of self-sabotage it's out of you know that feeling of feeling like i have to do this i have to um keep these things close to my heart right i have to keep my emotions close to me i can't conceal them i mean i can't reveal them right um i can't reveal my true my true self where it's like you really can you get further with that actually um but let's jump into the channel message since we are coming up on 39 minutes and aquarius accidentally was like over an hour long <laughs> and i was not trying to make it that long 
So let's see. Give me some channel messages from Scorpio or for Cross Watcher for Scorpio. Give me the energy. Sun, Moon, Venus, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Venus. Sun, Moon, Venus. Sun, Moon, Venus. What needs to be said? Ooh, 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 bitch. What needs to be said? Kiss me already. Yeah. Told you. Kiss me already. So this is someone who, again, feels like y'all are, there, you're theirs as far as they're concerned. They don't have any other question, no worry about nothing. You belong to them. <laughs> and that's how they see it. You belong to them. Kiss me already. But somebody's trying to make this temporary moment y'all are having feel like forever, and it's not forever. Yeah, Earth sign. So like I said, Capricorn energy is here. Um, could be a Virgo um or taurus right but i did pick up capricorn so I, i'll emphasize capricorn um they could also just be very stable this person that you're dealing with marriage yeah so if someone does want marriage with you scorpio i said that let's get married i might get drunk enough and get crazy enough to say something like let's go get married right still i need me a free i finally realized what i need <laughs> all i need is a woman who can agree with everything that I do and get naked when I when I want to, yeah. So especially if you're dealing with Scorpio man, <laughs> they just kind of want shit their way. Um, especially if this person might have some Capricorn in their chart too, I feel like they might just want shit to go their way, <laughs> and that's not how this works. Uh, but it's like they want to marry you. But even that line make me like I don't like that, right? All I need is a woman who can uh agree with everything that i do and get naked for me when i want her to all i need is right make it feel like forever when it's temporary let's get married just for this moment right just for this moment in this one moment right so again it's only a moment yeah i heard a blip on i heard blip <laughs> like a blip on the radar so uh this definitely isn't like a long-term connection with somebody you're dealing with but i feel like they might want to make it long term so take it for higher resume this isn't a long-term relationship that uh, but somebody wants to make it long term right this is someone you know that you had no idea of or, or had no business trying to get married to and they want to get married right take that for higher resonate um or again this is somebody who isn't really trying to do right by you for real but it's like i'm gonna get drunk enough to actually try to get this out but then they gonna be back on bullshit in the morning. Take that for high resume. Call and text, yeah. Told you. So yeah, I might get drunk enough to get crazy enough to say something. I thought I wanted this, but I'm changing my mind. So even if this is a Scorpio, right? Scorpio, if you the one walked away from somebody, you might be the one changing your mind. Um, but I feel like a masculine energy is changing their mind. Right? Make it feel like forever when it's temporary. Let's get married just for this moment. So somebody might definitely call you when they get drunk and they might tell you some shit, right? Um, whether it be you walked away because maybe they told you they didn't want a family, right? And then they call you when they drunk, like, I lied. Um, that's not true. Um, I see myself marrying you. I want you to move in with me. I da 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 right? And then again, like I said, I see them sobering back up. And by the time the sun come up and they wake up in your bed and you're going to be all bright eyed and long eyelashed and shit, bushy tailed and shit. And you're going to be excited to see them and they're going to be looking at you like, I said, what? <laughs> I said I want to get married. What? No, okay. What's 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 the uh what's the uh what's the uh fuck 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 what's the whole name? What's the whole name? I love her podcast too. Um, Demona. Don't call me white girl. Remember that? Um, when she was talking about the leg up shit. Mine, mine, mine. One hand on neck, one hand on frontal. This is this is what this is giving me. Okay. So y'all be very careful, please, because that's what this is giving me. Okay. Somebody gonna call you drunk. They're gonna have a whole lot of drunk truths to share with you one arm on neck one arm on front of they gonna fuck the shit out of you and in the morning when you look at them in their face and you get the looking like oh because i thought you said you wanted to get married they gonna hit you with that same line married when i said that when you had the leg up when you had the leg up and you was whispering in my ear you was telling me shit you know what I'm saying? And like, that's the energy this is giving me. Where it's just like, I said, what? I said, I want to get married. 
And when I said that, last night when you was drunk, you called me drunk from the club, and you said that you begged me to come over, and you wanted me to come over. You said that you loved me. You said you was ready to be a family again. You said you wanted to move back into the house, and you was ready. You said you was going to be ready. You said that you was going to... And this person goes straight ego your ass. Straight ego. I said that when I was drunk. Oh, I don't, child, I don't remember none of that. That 1942 had a nigga gone. <laughs> They not gonna remember none of that. You gonna be very, very, very shitty. Okay? Please be careful. Please be careful. Especially if this is a Capricorn with some Scorpio with some Scorpio with a cap. Please be careful. I envision my whole life with you. Yeah, but they ain't gonna tell you that. They ain't gonna tell you that. Not while they sober. They gonna sober up and pitch your ass a whole nother situation. If they're gonna get sober and pitch your ass a whole nother situation. Told you emotional immaturity. Yeah. They're gonna get drunk and pitch you a whole nother situation because they're not ready. Page your page your cups at the bottom of the deck. They not ready. They not ready. He loves me by Jill Scott at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this is someone I think that was what earth signs, cardinal signs. So very heavy on Aries, very heavy on the Capricorn as well. I think Cardinal Signs did get that on Twitter today. Um when I talk it's like you don't even listen. Yeah. When I talk, it's like you don't even listen. When I talk, it's like you don't even listen. And I feel like that's them. That why I said, listen, I don't like, I I don't know who y'all dealing with. Get, stop dealing with them. Because I feel like this is them to you too. That's a part of their emotional immaturity. When I talk, it's like you don't even listen. I told you I didn't want this. I think that was a part of Cardinals too this morning um, for Twitter. I told you I didn't want anything serious. I just want to have fun. When when I talk to you, it's like you don't even listen. It's not that y'all not listening, uh, person watching. But see, they say one thing and then they turn around and say another thing. And that's what I'm picking up. When they drunk, they call you and it's love. And I want to be in love. And, 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 and don't hurt me. And oh, because I just love you. And then let me come home. And I want to come home. And I want to be a family again. And then as soon as they sober back up, it's like... Why would you think I want to be a family again? I told you I didn't want that. But bitch, you just called me last night and told me you did. You just called me last night and told me you did. Stop drinking. Somebody need to stop drinking. Somebody need to stop drinking. For sure. Yeah, anxiety. Because they have anxiety as standing. What did I say? What did I say? I can't make this up, y'all. Y'all see me pulling these cards. Y'all see me shuffling. I can't make this shit up. Our love connection is not, isn't a top priority for me right now. And it's not because it's not a priority, but it's because they have anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety from whoever this is on making it a priority. And that's why they try to act like it's not a fucking priority because they're childish. And then they try to put it on you like, oh, because you just don't listen. No, bitch, I listen to what you say. I heard you when you said it wasn't a priority the first time. And I left. And then you you came back drunk. You got drunk, high, whatever this is. You, you started drinking. You got off a pill. You got high, whatever the fuck. And you started giving me another story. We really going to have to work on this brightness because, baby, it looked... It looks like it's all of 8.30 and it's just 4.16 right now. I do not like this dullness. But it is, uh, it looks like the bottom about to fall out outside anyway. Um, but child, this is substance. Somebody get off a pill or bean or something and get in their feelings. And then it's like soon as that shit over, they back to on their bullshit. Like, because I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry. Told you. So it's like a real torn, it's like a real back and forth energy here. And I can definitely see it coming up too. Because I know Cardinals on Twitter definitely got that. I picked that up very heavy. When I when I talk, it's like you don't listen. I had already told you I didn't want anything serious. You got upset because you kept wanting something serious. But for Scorpio, especially if you're dealing with an Aries or like a Capricorn or they have that in their chart. Is given like, bitch, it's not that I don't listen to you when you talk. I heard you when you said you didn't want anything serious. I respected you when you said you didn't want anything serious. But then when you got drunk or when you got high or when you got in your feelings or when you snorted, whatever you snorted or whatever the fuck people do, right? No judgment here. Shrooms, whatever. Whatever substance you had in your system, you called me and you had another fucking story. Which made me then change my view, right? Which is why this fire is still here. So I came back. And, and try to 
sell uh salvage what was and then when you sobered up in the morning you was back on bullshit like i don't know what you're talking about i told you i don't want anything serious but then when you get drunk you call me and you be trying to talk serious so which one is it do you want something serious or do you not want anything serious anxiety is here um with the fall card and the abandonment issues so i do feel like their big issue here isn't that they don't want anything serious and that they just want to have fun they want something serious with you scorpio or cross watcher right but the issue with them is that they fear that all of this shit gonna come crashing and burn and blow up in their face and they're gonna become abandoned and have to be left alone with their dick in their hand and their emotions in their lap and that's what they don't want and that's why they always pull and pull and shove on you because they're torn I know I fucked up big time. Yeah, I know you know. I know you know. I know you know. That's why they trying. That's why they trying to come back and get get drunk enough to get crazy enough to say something. But it's still temporary. A lot of you, I am still picking up that this is somebody you know. You ain't got no business dealing with anyway, and it's temporary. And here you are still dealing with it, trying to make it long term. Stop. Others of you, they're only coming back temporarily right if they call you tonight right and and they're drunk they're only calling you tonight temporarily they call you because they drunk right temporarily by the time they're drunk we're off on on tomorrow morning they go out tonight it's friday right they go out tonight to the club by tomorrow morning you're not gonna hear from them no more <laughs> right but you're hearing from them tonight for, te for temporary because they drunk and even though you temporarily hearing from them tonight they're gonna have a whole bunch of sweet nothings hogwashes and bullshit to tell you because they really don't want to let go memories yeah they really don't want to let go they know they fucked up they know you've walked away from them they know they've self-sabotaged the connection it could have went a lot better if they were just fucking confident right if they just actually zinned out and kept other people out of their ear out of their business uh was confident on the obstacles that y'all went through in order to be able to truck through them this is someone who began began to self-sabotage karmic yeah so this is either a karmic person again that you know was never supposed to be a long-term person anyway and you still trying to deal with them for the long term you know damn well you ain't got no business dealing with them for the long term but this is someone who has a lot of karmic behaviors and patterns that they need to walk out of that they need to release had a lot of karmic people around them right knocking them off of their zen knocking them out of their peace knocking them off of their confidence okay you trigger me told you yeah you trigger me and that's why they act like that that's why none of these emotions come out until they get drunk and then when they get drunk they have all of these sweet nothings oh because i miss you and i want us to get married and i see us getting married and i see us moving in together and i see a family i want a family and da 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 and then by the time they wake up and they wake up in your bed and you looking at them in the face <laughs> because y'all just had a great night together and they didn't just gave you all this emotion they gonna wake up looking at you like good morning <laughs> the fuck uh hi hi because you know because like last night we had a good talk right and they gonna get triggered all over again talk about what well you said you wanted to get married and that like you know because you really saw us having a family they gonna shut all that shit down again not because they don't see it with you but because anxiety abandonment trust and you triggered them this is the growth work that needs to be done within them tell me you love me still i feel like we just need some time apart right now yeah so this is someone who like i said push and pull push and pull push and pull soulmate energy could definitely be a karmic soulmate for some of you okay take that for how it resonate nothing even matters yeah so nothing mm, when they when, that's how they really feel right nothing even matters to me um, so I feel like that's really how they feel without you where it's like nothing really matters without Scorpio or cross watcher Right, but they're not gonna tell you that they're not gonna tell you that They're not gonna tell you that because you trigger them So to them on a sober tip, we just need some time apart And then when y'all take the time apart and they get drunk and they get on them pills or that weed or the, That liquor or the shrooms or whatever they like to do because Scorpio y'all know y'all like to experiment i think between scorpio and aquarius y'all are probably the most experimental i've met um outside of gemini 
right and gemini isn't really as experimental but i do know they will try something at least once uh aquarius i know is very experimental oh well i'll replace well no because i know more gemini's who are more prone to draw trying things than pisces anyway i know scorpios especially the men y'all can definitely get on some substance because i've i've met plenty scorpio placement men who love them some good substances and it's not always just drinking i've met some who are some good drinkers the most of the scorpios i've met and it's probably just because of where i'm from they definitely like pills okay they like molly they like x pills they like all types of shit okay they definitely do pills they like that outer body experience they like to drink they drink like fucking fish okay so it's like when they get on all of that whatever that they own and they get out of this self-sabotage sober energy you know what i'm saying i feel like that little that liquid that substance give them some confidence about themselves right and they get a little drinking they, they feel a little confident to be able to be like because where you going you still mine you know what I'm saying? Well, you, you still my woman. You my woman. You ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But they don't keep that same energy sober. And they don't keep that same energy sober because, you know, they are super actually pessimistic. You trigger their abandonment issues. And they're super terrified that you're going to hurt them and that you're going to fuck over them. That you'll abandon them like everybody else. And they'll be alone with their dick in their hand or their pussy in their hand and their heart in their lap. And that's what they don't want. And that's why they act like that with you. That's why they keep acting like that okay and until you set some real boundaries scorpio or cross watcher they're gonna keep acting like that unless this is a karmic soulmate and you ain't got no reason with them anyway and if that's the case leave their ass the fuck alone stop trying to make something last forever out of a temporary situation that was only supposed to be temporary anyway because the shit was supposed to be temporary and i take that for my own goddamn self because i know for a shit show i'm dealing with somebody that the person that i was took that person i'm telling you about ain't got no business dealing with them i never i i never had no business dealing with them from day one bitch and we here in year six seven and eight okay i'm just saying so take that for how it resonate um i do feel like they do want you to tell them that you love them though they do want that energy from you they're just terrified they're gonna have to do what they need to do and do their own work work to be able to work through that all right reiterating the signs that i did see before we get up out of here i see fire sign masculine energies i see water sign masculine energies i see capricorn i see um aries and i did see um gemini i did see gemini i saw the lover's card at the bottom of the deck. okay um the numbers that i see for you guys you have a lot of fours four 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 okay um i think that's everything i think that's all the numbers i see so far fours yeah i think that's everything so thank you again so much for visiting my channel hopefully this definitely resonated if they did resonate please share it with a friend um subscribe to my channel make sure you keep up with my content subscribe with to me on other platforms so you can make sure you keep up with me on other platforms uh because i do have other platforms and things going on we do still have venus a sale going on for the rest of the day make sure you reach over there and catch it and i will see you guys over on the next video peace out